listen, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I need to do this haul because I wanna play in my things. How am I supposed to feel? Hope I swing good, fuck the deal. If I fall, I'm gonna take it down like a pill. Hi gems and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Amber here and you guys it is the 2022 spring sephora haul you know that i've been talking about it on my social platforms you know twice a year sephora gives us this lovely discount i've even done uh what's in my cart prior to hitting the submission button but let me tell you i hit submit four or five times during this one week and um before me i have makeup skincare hair and fragrance so what we can do is just jump right into it because honestly i just want to put it away and start playing with things and creating looks for you guys first up we're going to discuss makeup okay let's just jump right into it no particular order i'm just grabbing what's in front of me and we're going to get through this listen bo bear asleep we just got home from easter festivities with the family and she is wore out we had an amazing first easter everyone it was a beautiful day out i was hoping to catch um some daylight but the way that last little bit of corned beef hit, we stayed a little bit longer than intended. So first things first is I grabbed a couple of Danessa Myrick's um, Gel Micro Multi Chrome Pore Eyeshadows. Um, listen, these went viral on TikTok because the girls have been using these products on as toppers, of course, on the lid, but on the lip baby and honestly anything Danessa touches is gold um these small little components they are 0.13 ounces I got the shade superstar and monarch I'm gonna pull them both out for you and although I don't even wear a lot of vibrant colors um on the lid just in my day-to-day -day life I needed to get these for just special occasions. Look how beautiful the components are. This is Superstar, um, described as having kind of like an amethyst purple fleck. Oh my god, there's so many layers here. <laughs> oh my god, how do I get this off without getting it everywhere? Oh my god, I can't get it off. Okay. Oh, it's one of those numbers. Okay. So it definitely look at that definitely has a gel consistency as described but as you can see this one has more of like the fuchsia purple which come on now on my skin tone purple is like goals. and it's royalty hello are we not all from royalty and then this number here oh my god why don't you want me to get in okay and this one here has more of like pink and orange shifts. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm so excited to try this one out. Again, as I described, it's 0.13 ounces. Listen, this one viral. I don't know if I'd wear this on my lips so much as really creating a fun look for the gram. Summer's coming. Um, I'm going to more festivals and I'm going outside, honey. So I'm definitely going to be utilizing more color. Um, when I have the time to like do a full full face of glam, I'm definitely going to be gravitating towards these two. Um, I believe they were like $25 a pop, so I only got two. She has a breadth of options as far as like color range, but these two are the ones that stuck out to me just because orange and purple is going to look sick on my complexion. Then we have the Huda Beauty Tan Tour, which is a contour and bronzing cream. This was just really um, stuck out to me just because I, listen, makeup is makeup is makeup. No one's really out here reinventing the wheel. But this, in my opinion, was just so different. This is 0.38 ounces. Look at this beautiful packaging. Just to kind of give you a gauge on the size um, and how thin it is. It's a cream contour that provides not only sculpting the face but creates a nice bronze effect i did get the shade rich and those who are my shade twin stand by because i do feel like this may be a little too deep and i was like teetering on whether to go with rich or tan which is one shade lower but i was using the sephora um like 
chat live chat that's on the website and based on my foundation shades they suggested rich would be the best match um, but it's really really beautiful and honestly things that Huda comes out with she really never misses um, it's just sometimes it's super fragrant and you know what I didn't even smell this for you guys let me see if this one matches pretty much no no it's just giving like glue like nothing really strong and stringent and floral or scenty like she typically comes out with but yeah I decided to grab it because I just love cream contour um, more than I do powder actually I just feel like the blending of it all coming together is just something that's very appealing to me um, I don't remember the price one on this one but I'll make sure to list everything that I purchased below in pricing and I got the shade rich I got a backup on standby. All right, next up, um, I got the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Blush in the shade Joy, which is kind of like a coral peach. I've been really digging the girls using liquid ble bleach, Mark. liquid blushes, and I've I've just not jumped on the bandwagon. Um, and coral, uh, my girl Candace O Beauty here on YouTube. Uh, just you know sold me on the concept that all brown girls need to be possessing a shade of orange or coral so that's gonna look really beautiful on the skin whether you under blush or over blush we'll discuss those terms later this is gonna be a really dope option it's a beautiful coral orange and as we're transitioning to the summer baby orange should be literally splattered all over your face in my opinion so yeah, this is 0.25 fluid ounces. This is the brand by, um, what's the young girl name? That girl, y'all know who she is. The actress girl. But the component is really beautiful. I definitely am excited to have this set on my vanity on display. It's so cute. The applicator is really nice. It's not too runny. Um, so this is going to be really interesting. I'm excited to see how this is going to look under my skin. Pairing it with powder on top that whole zhuzh all right next up we have the nessa myricks staying with sis uh the yummy skin serum foundation this one right here the girls have been screaming about uh and i am all about a new foundation definitely this whole wave of more skin like finish this is a skin loving skincare hybrid foundation with medium buildable coverage um and this is the component really pretty lightweight um, how many ounces? 0.85. I'm in 22N. You know I'm a neutral girl. So I was able to snag this. It has a squeeze applicator. It is a bit runny. I've already kind of tested this um, before filming. But the beautiful thing about her component is that when you're ready to replace, like say you, you empty out this, the bottom, I don't want to squeeze it you guys, I'm like, the bottom and the top comes off and then you can just replace this and it's cheaper than buying a completely new component. So I mean, sis has thought about it all, you hear me? Or if you're a makeup artist and this is just taking up too much space in your kit, just taking out the, the, the bottom part alone brings down your vial and creates even more space. Um, I did not get my hands on the primer because all y'all bought it up sold out by the time I was able to activate my 15% off on the VIB sale. I specifically asked on Instagram for y'all to save me some and y'all didn't. Rude. So I'm going to go ahead and pick it up now that they've restocked it because of course everything is back available that I wanted to get and now I can't even use my damn coupon. But I'm glad I was able to grab the foundation so definitely look forward to a product review coming very very soon. Next up, this is also an influenced purchase from my girl Candace O Beauty. This is the Pillow Talk Lip Cheat. I got the shade 3 Intense, which is going to mimic my um, MAC Cosmetic Chestnut Liner. Um, I just, I don't know, she did a weird test the other day on Insta Stories. And she had been eating, drinking, out and about, never having to reapply her lip liner. And I find that my chestnut, I'm always reapplying. Like, it's barely on my lips right now. And I put it on, I want to say like around 2 o'clock. And it's now 6.30. No, what time is it? Oh, Lord. 7.45. And it's like gone. And she had used it and showed how it was basically on her all day long. So, um, I got the shade... 
3 in 10. As you can see, that's going to be a dope pencil to use um, with all of my nudes because you know I'm a nude girl. I wear nude lipsticks from peachy nude to beige nude to damn near white nude. <laughs> you can't get me away from a nude. But um, I just wanted to try a new liner. Um, and it was about $24, I believe. I actually got this when I was in Jersey during spring break. So, um, great opportunity to snag things um, when you're in different areas because not every Sephora carries the same thing. Next up, you guys, I grabbed the Dior Backstage Flash Protector Concealer. I got the shade 5W just based off the swatches that I was seeing online because you know you always supposed to go at least a shade or two lighter but she's a little she may be a little too light um for every day but it could be really great for um like if you want to just lift it just a taste it is warm so it's going to have that yellow in it. So it's not terrible. It's just brighter than I'm accustomed to using. I typically go more golden, which is a little bit deeper than like the yellow warm. It's going to give you a little bit more like orange in it. Um, just personal preference. So I'm not going to take it back. I'm definitely going to try it. The applicator is different for me. Like it looks like an actual paintbrush, which is just different. But I mean, it didn't apply any strange. But I wanted to get this one. I think I shared this was in my cart and I went on ahead and grabbed it because these sold out relatively quickly as well. But really cute. I actually have never worn any Dior makeup except the um, highlighting palette. Do oh, I have it? Da, 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 da. I can't find it right now. But the highlighting palette, which is stunning on the skin. Um, so when I grabbed the concealer, I was like, well, God, I really need to try the face and body from Dior. So um, I got this in the shade 7.5 neutral. My girl, um, Style and Beauty Doctor, we're shade twins. And this is, she has wrote a blog about it. She's done videos about it. She's on Instagram about it. You guys really, really love this. And what I like about it is that I want to see what it does for like my tattoo. Um, if ever I want to wear like off the shoulder moment, like during photography, because my 40th birthday shoot is coming up. So I wanted to try this out even though I have other products for skin I mean for body um, the girls are saying this is a really great option now I opened this when I first got it look how wet it's very very liquidy um, I did get it on my workout pants but I was able to get it out using a little bit of Dawn so just be mindful of that especially with the pressure of packaging and shipping products you just want to make sure that when you're opening it doesn't like oh you're wearing white so like that could have happened today so I'm excited to try that one out um, how many ounces come in this one you get 1.6 fluid ounces really pretty packaging we moving right along okay next up this is from the brand one size which we you know Patrick Starr here on YouTube also um, my little hug bug I've met him in person and he's a really dope individual um, and he spoke so much positivity on my life that when he came out with his product and y'all already know how I feel about his powder foundation <laughs> so good that I had to get um, his new cheek palette as well as his like bronzing and contour palette right so again Candace always in my brain when I'm shopping for makeup I decided to go with uh, Freaky Peach which is the cheek clapper look how big <laughs> look first of all how big this damn mirror is and second you get a cream a powder and then a shimmer you probably can't see it because it's a little overexposed um from my ring light but it's really beautiful as you can imagine peach is gonna be sick that mirror is nice but his products has really outdone themselves i've already repurchased his concealers twice i probably should have got a backup but i didn't just trying to keep it cute with the spending um but they've just shown to show up and show out and you know here's the thing i am not gonna say he's not a drag queen but he practices drag drag right um and i just trust them i just trust the lord because if they're out here performing sweating giving the girls acrobatics and entertainment they're gonna understand 
the wear and tear that makeup is going to do over time. The lasting power. So I just know he dug deep and put his foot in these products because they're just really doing what they need to do. And the second thing I got for him, as I mentioned, this is the Made for Shade Bronze and Sculpt Trio. I got the shade Dark. Now, it's giving... Let me see. It's, it's posing a little concern because I thought maybe I should have went deep, but then when I open up my Fenty bronzer, and I got this in the shade Mocha Mommy. So this is the Fenty bronzer that I, as you can see, I've hit pan. I use it every day. Like that, not like it's meeting the middle one where I needed to. So I think that I'm okay, but I'll keep you posted. Um, because sometimes when you look at these shades and they look light like this in the pan, but then once they're on the skin, and I'm going to swatch the second one, like once they're on the skin, it could give me the bronze, make sure I'm not overlapping product, it could give me the bronze that I need. Like look at that. I think it's going to work. I think it's going to work. But I'm going to let you know either way. Still the beautiful size mirror. This one's all red, which matches the foundation. So, I don't know. Kudos, Patch, are wreck, baby. You know what you're doing, boy. Sis. Sorry, I'm putting everything back in the packaging because I really need to get organized, you guys. I have so much makeup. Whether it be from PR or my own habits, <laughs> that I really need to get organized. So, that is, we're not done with makeup by the way. Next up, I decided to get the sample size of the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. Um, one thing's for sure is that because I'm oily combination, I always preach about using water based moisturizers or gels, but then primers, then sometimes whether they're silicone based or not can create a little bit of that like uh, like peely foamy it's weird so the girls have been gagging about it I was like fine I asked my girlfriend Tania she was like I am addicted so I didn't want to over splurge so I decided to get the small size here and I tried it on my skin and it does have like a tacky feel but it also is very hydrating and I need that in order for my skin not to produce too much oil like today I'm wearing powder foundation I'm not wearing a liquid foundation and I can see how shiny which is perfectly fine I'm all about the skin coming through but if it could just be like a taste and taste back from being this shiny and this helps then I'm, I'm gonna be a believer so this is the grip based yeah primer yeah, so I got the little one. I'll keep you guys posted. Um, I think this is like $18 versus the larger ones like in the 30 range. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to try it out. I'm definitely going to do a new product review for you guys so that we can, you know, experience this together. Next up, I have the... Girl, what is this called? What is this logo? All I know is that it's Gwen Stefani, but is it GXVE? I don't get it. Either way, I got her lightweight long wear. I'm still here. Um, if you guys have been keeping up with my vlogs, I used this on my sister when she had to go to her gala. She only had to apply it one time. And the richness of this product, like, we love a blue tone, a uh, blue undertone red lip, but it smells like a <laughs> It smells amazing. It doesn't like crumble up. I'm gonna show you on the skin. You guys, uh, my sister actually went when we were in Jersey. She went and bought it. Look how vibrant. And it dries down to a nice, comfortable mat. Comfort is what's important. Um, the component is really beautiful as well. I mean, this is badass. And then it says, me, you, yours. I don't know. Someone please tell me. What is this Gwen Stefani brand called? Is it GXVE? I don't get it. But it is by Gwen Stefani. She has a satin finish, a matte finish lipstick, like a normal, you know, traditional lipstick. And then she has a liquid. I highly suggest the liquid lipstick. My opinion. <laughs> Alright, so as far as makeup, we are complete and we're going to move on to skincare. Alright, next up we have skincare. Um, just a couple things since I get quite a bit of skincare in... P 
PR. But these are just items that two I was influenced to buy, one is a rebuy. First up, we have the Tatcha Water Cream. As I mentioned, I love water-based or water gel um, moisturizers to wear during the day under my makeup so that my skin doesn't have to work so hard. Um, and I actually got this first in PR, so this is my first time purchasing, but I was obsessed with it. And the component is absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, they have a nice little like applicator that you can pull from. I'm going to show you guys the consistency that I'm talking about. See, as you can see, maybe you can't, but sometimes it's like my light is so, uh, it's like a lightweight, it's not, it's like a, see, and then see how you see like the water element or the gel, Ooh, it's so good, a little bit goes a long way, which is what also I love about gel products, um, and it's, it just works better to kind of seep into the skin, um, and cut down the time. But they speak, let's see, refreshing and anti-aging, pore-protecting Japanese wild rose for normal to oily skin. So that's your girl right here. So I went ahead and made this purchase. She heats a little pricey. I don't want to in any way make you feel like this is a, you know, let's replenish it because it's so cheap. Because it ain't. She ain't. I think it was $69 if I'm going to be completely honest. But it's well worth the spend. I'm not even gonna sit here and lie to you. Next up in skincare, and you may have seen me use this already on my social because baby, I could not resist this splurge of a mask that I made. But my girlfriend Candace, and I'm saying girlfriend, like, you know how you never meet anyone in person, but you know you vibe like instantly, so you're just like, my that's my homie. I can tell. When we finally link up, it's gonna be a show for all of you. It's gonna be good times. But uh, she suggested the Tatcha Violet Sea Radiance Mask. This beautiful mask is definitely for the girls who have dull to dry skin. I know I share with you guys that I'm really combination. The combination is some parts of my face are dry, some places um, produce extra oils. And it leaves my skin feeling very dull because I feel like I have to like strip it down. And if you're looking for something that's gonna give you a little bit more radiance, plumping, this is your mask. You guys, it is a splurge. It does have vitamin C in it, which is also going to help with revitalizing the skin, making it more youthful and glow. It's a brightening beauty dual vitamin C for all skin types. Um, 15 minutes in and out. It's a beautiful purple finish, which I think is probably another selling point because I do like pretty things. This one also comes with a little scoop if you need to, but I use a mass applicator brush um, so that I can evenly distribute it across the skin. She's $70. She's pricey, but oh my god, I'm actually might use it tonight because I've just been running ragged, y'all. We had spring break. And it's Easter, and I'm traveling, it's been hot, it's been cold, the weather, ooh, I deserve, and you deserve, so get your hands on it, so I'm just going to take it right out of the box because I know I'm going to be using it later on tonight, so oh, there's something about Tatcha's packaging I absolutely love, I hate throwing it away, but I'm going to because cleanliness is next to gladliness, um, Next up for skin, this is also a influenced purchase from Candace. This is the Polish Choice Exfoliant. This is a liquid exfoliant. It's on, it states to unclog pores, shrink and enlarge pores, smooth and even skin tone, and lightweight liquid absorbs quickly. It does have salia... But why can't I just pronounce anything? There's acid in it. <laughs> 2% BH. So, I wish I had more on this one. I'm gonna do a little digging, but as you can see, it's definitely going to be help um, perfecting areas of the skin that you may find to be problematic that you want to address. For me, it is always about my pores. You guys say you can't see them. I can see them. I want to unclog them. I actually have a small breakout right here in my pore area, and I'm like, uh-uh, you got the goo. And exfoliant can be a little harsh, like the granular or the rice grains, and the fact that this is a liquid formula and it has 2% BH in it, I'm going to try it. She speaks so highly of it. You get four ounces, so it's definitely going to be travel friendly if you want to take it with you on the road, 
but I'm gonna roll this into my skincare routine. Um, it says you can use once or twice a day, apply over the face and neck with a cotton pad. So for me, it's definitely gonna be a step after you tone, um, before you start putting on your serums. So I'm thinking that's what the, the steps, and it looks like it has a three here, so there's steps prior to it, step one, two, and three. Um, so I'm really excited to try this one out. So that wraps up skincare. Something's wrong with me. I placed my very last order on April 11th, um, and I was able to snag another hair, a couple of other hair products. So what I have in possession versus what's in what's coming, I'll talk to you about because I'm not going to do another haul, but I at least wanted you to know what it is that I purchased. So the first thing here, this is the Orbi Anti-Humidity anti Spray. Um, again, an influence by, you got it, Candace. Um, she's a natural girl, beautiful hair. As you know, I wear... Um, wigs, weaves, so on and so forth. I probably would never wear my real hair out. Um, I've been debating with it because there's a part of me that wants like a pixie cut. Anyway, I digress. Um, this right here is going to be really great because anti-humidity is always going to be prevalent, especially when I have units that I curl during the summer months. Um, I decided to get the smaller one so I could travel with it, but um, it smells amazing. Uh, or be, and then like, I'm not one to like pay a whole lot of money for hairspray because I can just get a little trust in me or a little, you know, what else do I have down here? Girl, I probably even have, um, what's the one that I get from a little bit of L'Oreal? Take you a long way. This is actually my favorite one. I probably need to. It's kind of empty. But um, this one, specific to being anti humidity, is going to be great for the summer months. So I want to make the small one because she speaks so highly of it. Um, I also got the. Um, what's the O U A I? Is that Oi? Way? Way texturizing spray hairspray um i actually love way i use the wave spray for all of my um wet curly units because it smells amazing and it holds the texture of whether i'm wearing indian brazilian malaysian not ambrose it holds a really nice wave and it smells amazing so I use that one with traveling but this texture spray is really gonna be great because I'm really digging my um, shorter units like this my bob units that I put more of like a beach wave in it so I went on ahead and picked that one up um, and then I also grabbed the way hair supplements for thinning hair as you all know I'm postpartum my baby is about to be nine months old but I didn't notice my hair shedding until she was about four months old and they say that your hair typically doesn't grow back until they're like one if not more as if they haven't taken everything else from me including my abs why not take my edges um, I read the reviews on it it retailed at $28 but it was on sale for $22.40 um, so I'm so glad and it says that it's out of stock right now. So I'm so glad I copped it when I did. But this isn't going to deliver until Friday. And I just didn't feel like waiting until Friday to film this. I wanted to strike while the iron was hot. And then kind of backpedaling on some skincare. I got the Peace Out Acid Acne Healing Dots. Those like clear pads that you put on when you have like small minor breakouts. Um, and I only get them. I only really break out during my time of month every now and again. But really why I want to get them is because when I do break out, I get them like under the skin they never really um draw to the surface as like white heads um and they were so great i think what i'm gonna do because i got the larger i think i got the 40 dots i'm gonna take half of those and send them to reese because as you can imagine he's a young gentleman young adult breaking out all the time whether his locks on his forehead or his face because like apparently that's the wave um, or you know he's running tracks so or sweating pores things like that so I'm gonna split that with him so not to derail but those are the only hair products I got the texturizing spray from way I got the hair supplements the actual supplements like pill forms you get 30 tablets so at least I can see what it looks like in 30 days whether that's worth purchasing again and then I got the Orbi um, anti-humidity spray
So I got some scents in front of me. Now I'm gonna tell you why I don't buy the full body scents. Even though um, you guys will describe a scent down, even give me visual references, this shit never works out for me. So I decided to just um, get samples or roll rolls or whatever they're called um, options before purchasing the larger units because y'all will say something smells good like Tom Ford Cherry and it smells like goddamn Robitessin. Nasty. So the first one that I got here is the Kaali Invite Only Amber 23. Let me smell it. Yeah, this one is really nice. It, it is giving you a little bit of, well, here's the thing, let me just start off by telling you this. When it comes to scents, I rarely ever do fruit. And I, 2% of my collection is floral. So I get really turned off if something smells a little too childish or too sweet. Um, but this one here gives me the musk. I'm a musk girl. I want it to linger all day long. I want to smell it in my clothes. I want to smell it in my hair. I want to smell it in my pillow. So I lean more vanilla, more musk, more grown, if that makes sense. <laughs> and, um, this one right here, you guys highly recommend it. First of all, this is darling. Let's just, come on. This is adorable. Um, so I could appreciate this mat. I mean, not that roller balls, roller balls don't get the job done. It's just, I think this is super cute. This is so cute. Um, this to me smells, yeah, it's warm, spicy. That is what I'm smelling. Cause I was like, this is pepper. Either way, um, what I love about it is that, like I mentioned before, I really don't like to smell sweet. It's giving you a mix. So it's kind of warm, it's a little sweet of gourmand, but it has amber, um, benzoin, and cinnamon. But that warm spicy is what's making it very, like, it's giving the linger, it's giving the groan that, I'm, that I aim for. So this one... It would be worth buying in the larger one once I run out of this. I think I probably will be replacing that one. So I'm really excited about that one. And this one right here is the small unit was $27. And I think the full size was $100. Bucks. So granted, um, what's beautiful about this is that you get the little travel size. I don't know about you, but I probably... This travel size could probably last me until the fall when the next sale comes. And then you get your discount on the larger one because you've already tested it out. You've worked it out in your pH. You've done all the things you need to do to confirm. And then you're ready to purchase. So that's my logic behind getting the travel size phrase. Because if I get it in the spring, by the time the fall comes, boom, let me get the, the full size. Next up, um, I've never purchased from this brand before. But a girlfriend of mine mentioned that this was a really dope brand. And this is the Seven Virtues. I got the rollerball in the shade Santo Vanilla. <laughs> Um, again, another vanilla scent, but it's not as spicy, so it's definitely more, um, it's warm, but it doesn't have the sweet essence that the other one that I just showed, the Kavali, Kav am I saying that right? Yeah, Kayali. Um, this one is a more of a wood scent. This one has sandalwood and vanilla. Baby, just call me Earthy. Just call me Erica Baduism, okay? Um, this small unit is 0.37 fluid ounces, really pretty component, it does have like the floral print and nature around it, really nice. Again, like I said, I like to be a little grown and sexy, more than I like to be childish and flirty, you know what I mean? So I'm really excited to try that one out. And then the last of my scents was a little bit of a splurge because honestly, I'm gonna keep it a bug. I already spent all this money on all this other stuff, I was like, I ain't even do it. <sighs> Time for Bitter Peach. Now this is so kind of <clears throat> intuitive of what I just shared with you about smelling all sweet and shit. But the one thing about this sweet darling is that even though peach, you're thinking fruit, I get it, you're thinking fruit, but we all know Tom Ford smacks a little grown and sexy on the back end. So you're getting a little bit of the fruit, you're getting a little bit of floral, so it's balancing it out for me. But the patchouli is what is making it grown, lasting, um, it has blood orange in it. I really love the component, it's a nice size, beautiful display on your vanity. And then here's the internal unit, so I guess when you replace it you don't need to buy this whole thing. Or 
maybe... pieces instead of buying the whole thing hell if I know either way they're currently out of stock so I was able to get this one she's $75 so you already know a full size she's about $380 um, the beautiful thing about this one is that it's giving me more floral than it's giving me fruit and I think that's why the peach doesn't bother me so badly I've tested both of them in stores so I already knew cherry was gonna be all oh, y'all lying in these damn comments talking about how cherry smells good. So the peach is where it's at. So this was probably um, more of a splurge for me because I do have Tom Ford Metallic, Metallic, um, and I did pay full price for that one. And I'm lying. I'm lying. Nordstrom sent me that one, but I love it and it's worth it. And sometimes Tom Ford can be hit or miss, but not with this one, sweetness. Okay, so that's, <laughs> I don't, I'm tired, maybe, that's what that was. Um, so that's it when it comes to scent. We have three new scents to add to the rotation, and I'm really excited about all of them. God damn it, you smell good. That's some virtue and everything. And I will spray Tom Ford, but baby, I'm in the house, I ain't leaving. That's what, that's, that's me going outside. I ain't spraying, I just set up in the damn house, okay? All right, gems, I really appreciate you. If at this point you have made it this far, we are at the end of the haul. So part of it is going to be skin. And I'm really excited about these products. Um, first up, we have the Necessary Deodorant Gel um, in Eucalyptus. Now, if you've been following me, you've heard me bitch and moan and complain about how I'm trying to keep it clean. And I'm trying to keep it cute. But this deodorant journey that I'm on right now to try to eliminate aluminum has really sent me on a spiral. I can smell funky, use a native, that ain't work. I had to order queen pits, that ain't come yet. And then the girls were talking about how Necessaire has came out with an option that is free of all of those toxins as well. But they also help improve the darkness. I don't really have dark pits. I have like areas that I would like to, you know, tweak. So why not try it out? I used it all day today. I still smell pretty good I'm not I mean it's not giving you dove okay it's not giving you you know armor have a bacon so it's not giving you you know degree but it is giving you earthy spa essence it does get a little wet but here's the thing that I appreciate about the gel I'm wearing white um, or if I was to be wearing black it doesn't transfer and that really is um, the gist of it for me if I know that I'm working towards getting all those toxins out of my system because I'm clearly in a, what is it, detoxing phase right now when it comes to aluminum and my deodorant, I don't want it to transfer my clothes, I want it to smell mature, and I just need it to work. And today it was relatively warm for Easter Sunday, we were outside, I was chasing around the kids, helping find these eggs, honey, I was sweating. And um, it did what it needed to do. So I've been using it since I got it in. I report back in like 30 days. I really need to finish detoxing because, girl, I've been using Dove deodorant since I was an adolescent. So I'm obviously in the middle of a serious purge. So she's $15. She sold out at the at the beginning of the Sephora sale and then they restocked it right at the end so I was able to get my hands on it. Plus I had a couple of my girlfriends had their eyes out for me if it came back. But the benefits, it deodorized, protects, and comfort. It has um, mandelic acid, lactic acid, and witch hazel. No aluminum, no baking soda, no parabens. It's a liquid gel. It has eucalyptus and the pH is 4.0. So, I'm going to keep you posted. I'm really happy with Necessaire brands right now. Um, I have the body, I have the body gel in sandalwood, and I use that when, you know, I'm stepping out. But it's not my everyday product, or if I want to treat myself, um, I just use, like, my other native or method or, you know, something like that. But Necessaire has really been showing its booty, and I like it. All right, next up, you guys. It's because I was really eyeballing it for so long. I've already tried this brand a hundred times, and it's the Soleil brand. We, you know, the Brazilian Bum Cream, which smells like just joyous vacation, like yumminess. Um, they came out with a new scent. What is this scent actually called? Baja 
floor elastic cream so this one is saying that it's mimicking oh enriched with retinol mimicking kaya oil and plant collagen so all about plumping the skin um boosting boosting the skin elasticity it's a plant-based collagen it visibly plumps while deeply replenishing moisture for petal soft skin that always bounces back so let's talk about this scent i need y'all to i need y'all to go smell baccarat okay i know the 450 dollars perfume i need you to go smell it and then i need you to buy this lotion and then thank me later because of that I haven't even used it yet. I just opened it yesterday and was like, Jesus? Jesus? Is that you, Jesus? It smells amazing. Amazing. And I didn't even play around and get the travel size. Like, I got the full unit, which is eight ounces. So she's going to have to stay home. She can't travel with me. I have to get one for my travel bag. But this is amazing. The last item was another splurge because I'm tired of y'all out here living your Jamaican, uh, Tulum, um, Palm Springs best life. I ain't there right now. But when I get there, y'all going to be sick. So what I ended up grabbing on my way to making one little purchase for a lip liner, I grabbed the Tom Ford Sole Blanc Shimmering Body Oil. This is a call fave. You guys have seen this, heard about it, probably smelt it at this point if not get into it. But this is the travel size. This is the one point five fluid ounces. I think the full size is about a hundred bucks. This was like 34, right up my alley. Cause who needs that much goddamn body oil? I ain't going to a beach every other goddamn day. So, um, oh, I need to do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it for y'all. I'm gonna do it. But what I like about it is that it's a spray. And you see the shimmers in it. Oh my god, it's so bomb. excited about that I've literally been eyeballing this even when I used to work at Nordstrom which I probably got a better discount but I didn't care I just couldn't pull myself to pull the trigger but for whatever reason while I was getting a lip liner I felt the need to buy a $35 body oil so this is what I did look at that so just imagine chest decollete shoulders arms legs melanin hold that thought go get it so you guys that is the complete haul from sephora i appreciate your patience i am so excited to try these products out and get back to you with a review on some of these especially the makeup goodies if you guys have any questions i would love for you to comment below you know i love engaging with you down there make sure you like subscribe share so the girls know that we did some damage and if anyone had any questions they can hear my thoughts um, on each and every one of these products. But until our next video, Jen, bye.